Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Friday, August the 14th, and it's 9.07 a.m. And I have got several things to share with you that I learned yesterday. And some, uh, well, this one came through my email. I prayed, the Holy Spirit, help me keep this straight and do it right and make sense. Because it's going to be a total of three videos, I believe. Um, I think that's all. Might be four. But anyway, I'm going to start with a word from the Lord that sits in my heart as truly from the Lord. But as always, anything you, you're questionable on, you take it to the Lord and pray about it. He talks strictly about the first fruits that are leaving, going outside of time, a rapture if you want to call it that. Because we are taken out. So, snatched away. Isn't that harpazo? Snatched away, taken out, is a type of rapture. Whether we go, I, I believe we go to heaven to get our, we get our glorified bodies on the way up, get our armor, we get our instructions, our teaching, and then we're brought back to harvest the wheat. And I have an awesome message from Julie Wedby, but I think it's within one of the videos I'm going to share. So, um, I have to go to brighteon.com for that. So, uh, one of those I have pulled up ready to do. Okay, so what I want to do, this man has his video just blacked out. So, what I want to do is go to, um, oh, I can't do it now. I was going to go to effects. And let you just see the pretty waterfall. Because it's I think it's better if you just listen. Than to watch me and my facial expressions and whatever. Or taking my teeth out. That was real good wasn't it. I didn't have the camera covered up. <laughs> it was just my partials. <laughs> I'd been eating and got nuts in there. Don't you hate it? Those of you who wear dentures. If you want to eat something with nuts. You get it down in there. And you just got to get it out. Anyway I apologize for that y'all. But uh, I did alter the video taking out one sentence that she, Kathy, wanted out of there. So the powers that be wouldn't pull the whole video based on it. Even though she's on Bridie on it. Probably wouldn't have happened. But um, um, now I lost my train of thought. Um, the Holy Spirit help me. I, I need you to help me. Oh, gosh. I'll be so glad when I don't have that problem anymore. And I noticed I'm not the only one. And she has it, too. <laughs> it's called word-finding difficulty. But um, I guess it happens with age. But I've been doing it a long time because of the brain thing I got. But anyway, I'm going to cover this up and play this and pay close attention to the words he says. And I think it will bless your socks off. I pray those who see this will understand what he's talking about. Okay, now, now I got a big sticky note instead of one of those little skinny ones that's used for a tap. All right, I'm going to play it now. Let's pull this up. It's called Confirmation, the Hour of Visitation. Are you in it? And it's on the channel called Praise Jesus King and Savior. It was given to uh, Oh boy. Here's a big old bunch of, um, Praise Jesus King and Savior. Well it says it in the video. I'm pretty sure. Alright. If not I'll find it. And I'll put it in the description box later. Okay, my family, I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would lead us and guide us today in all truth and understanding. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Um, I bring a word of confirmation today from Henry Falcone and his Flame of Fire Ministries. He has... Um, that was Henry Falcone, Flame of Fire Ministries. Released the hour of visitation. Are you in it? Beloved, 
In this time of pandemic and social unrest, the Lord Jesus is manifesting himself to his remnant people who have eyes to see and the ears to hear. We are at the time of Jesus' third day miracle of Cana to be completed in God's full-grown sons and daughters on the earth, those who are mature. The day of God's finishing fire of his pure holy love is here to complete us. The time is here. Are you in it? Beloved, God's remnant, full-grown sons and daughters, are in the deepest visitation of the Lord in the power of the Holy Spirit that has ever been on the face of the earth. The final push of travail of all creation is birthing the full company of full-grown sons and daughters to manifest upon the earth. The Lord's end-time people are being finished and prepared for the day of the Lord that is soon to be here. God is bringing forth his firebringer generation of end-time warriors. God is bringing forth his burning ones who are living behind the veil before his throne. They are experiencing the glory realm, life of the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. He's complete, completing them in full maturity to form as a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a man-child, overcomers, and his bride. They will now manifest the face of a man as having a pure relationship with God. They'll have a face of an ox on their left representing their pure servant's heart to God and to men. They will have the face of a lion on the right side representing the full kingdom power and authority in them. They will have the face of an eagle behind them representing their ability to be spiritual and be seated with him on his throne, seated in heavenly place. This is the brand plucked out of the fire. They are the people who have the spirit of burning and the spirit of judgment burning in them to refine them like pure gold and silver, battle ready for the Lord. While so many are still trying to live the church life, these saints have an end time work, visitation of the Lord, being done in them in secret where no one but them and the Lord notices. They are going to come forth on this earth like a bride leaning completely dependent upon her beloved, ready to cooperate fully as one with the Lord upon the earth. As full-grown full sons, they will manifest the character and nature of Jesus' full obedience to the Father in them. As an overcomer, they will be given kingdom power and dominion to tread upon the serpents and the scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. As a man-child, they rule and reign with him on the earth to subdue and transform the kingdoms of this world into the kingdom of God in Christ. They rule the nations with Jesus with a rod of iron. They will execute the judgments written. They will eat from the tree of life in the midst of the garden. They will not be hurt by the second death. They eat hidden manner. They will have a white stone with a new name written on it that no one knows but them. They have power over the nations and rule them with an iron rod as earthen pots are broken in pieces. They will receive authority and power to rule them from the Father. They have the morning star. They are dressed with white clothes. Their names will never be blotted out of God's book of life. The Lord will confess them openly to the Father and before the angels. No one will take their victor's crown from them. They will be kept safe in this hour that is coming upon the earth. In Psalm 91, protection. They are the pillars in the temple of my God, and never be put out of it. They have a new name, the God, the name of my God, the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, which descends out of heaven. They have a new name. They will sit beside me on, the, on my throne as I overcame and sat down on my Father's throne. Let he that has an ear, let him hear, and heed what the Spirit says to the churches. It is time. A wheel within a wheel is at hand. A man-child company of full-grown sons and daughters is arising and coming together upon the earth. The forming of God's royal priesthood in full kingly power is now being released and those who are making themselves ready for God's end time purposes. This is the day, this is the time, and this is, this is the hour of God's visitation to his people. Don't miss it. 
Let us be prepared, positioned, propelled, and battle ready for the hour that is now coming upon the earth. My brothers and sisters, if you too wish to be part of this end time army, you need to come before God on bended knee. You need to tell him that you are ready to answer his call. You need to tell him that you pray for more workers in the harvest. You need to tell him that his will be done in his perfect timing. You need to surrender everything before him. Surrender the things of this world to our Father in heaven and he will give you his perfect peace. When you surrender and empty yourself, that is a process that must be done for we must be fully emptied before we can be filled with the new wine. As with every word, I pray that you would go into your prayer closets and seek confirmation from the Holy Spirit of God. Trust in not man and trust in not woman, but put your full faith and trust in Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I pray for each and every one of you. I pray for those who cannot pray for themselves. I pray for my family. I pray for my loved ones. I pray for my relatives, and I pray for my brethren. I pray for their children and their children's children. I pray that Father God in heaven would place his holy fire hedge of protection round about us on all sides, far above us and far below us. I pray, he would, pray that he would cover our home and our vehicles, our places of work and worship, our pets and provisions, our children, their schools, and their daily activities. I stand upon the promises of God that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and that no plague and no pestilence will come near our home or ourselves, and that we will only have to witness it. I pray that he cover each and every one of you with his holy fire hedge of protection, the hedge that none may cross. I pray that he wash you clean with the blood of the Lamb. I pray for each and every one of you that you would join me in preparing to be part of this end time army. And I give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord, and glory to God in the highest. He is the Aleph and the Tav, the Alpha and the Omega. He is the first and the last. His word shall never return to him void. Holy, holy, holy is his name. We give glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Amen and amen. Amen. Okay, that's the end of it. So I plead the blood. I'm going to, let me take this off here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video over the internet connection over each and every single one of you over myself our computers devices whatever we have over your internet connections and I say let God be true and every man a liar take this to the Lord if you don't believe it that is a scripture by the way in fact I will pull it up really quick I want to make sure that I have that right. It's not just a saying. Let God be true and every man a liar. Romans 3, 4. Certainly not. God, let God be true. All right, it says, uh, I'd like to have the before. Okay, what if some, it's Romans 3, I'm going to read verse 3 through 5. What if some did not have faith? Will their lack of faith nullify God's faithfulness? Absolutely not. Let God be true and every man a liar, as it is written, so that you may be justified in your words and prevail in your judgments. But if our unrighteousness 
highlights the righteousness of God, what shall we say? That God is unjust to inflict his wrath on us? I am speaking in human terms. That's the Berean Study Bible. Okay, so that is true. That was a scripture. I pray this has blessed you. And with that, I'll say, bye for now. I'll be right back.